I was lucky enough to be a part of the 40th anniversary of the WICT organization, speaking at their leadership conference, talking about pearls of wisdom, which I kind of thought was a little bit funny because uh, I feel like I've learned so much from the incredible speakers this evening. So thank you so much for sharing your stories, but also your advice. I think one of the most important things that I've found in work, in life, and in any kind of struggle or moment is that actually being a part of a community, being a part of a team, and being part of something that you can actually put your North Star in, put your North Star on and say, I'm actually doing that because it's something that drives my passions. That was talked a little bit about earlier. But, you know, I've been very lucky to have some incredible female role models in my life. Not only the ones in my family, but also the ones that I've been honored to work with. And each and every single time, they've always taught me to find that little voice inside of yourself, that one that you think is not loud enough, that one that you think you have to be, you can't be assertive enough. I think it's about changing the language. What happened to be, why is one thing assertive to one thing being strength and right and honest and true? And I just, I stand here as somebody who is lucky enough to be a part of WICT and the community that I get to stand with, but also as somebody who works in artificial intelligence and data analytics, but also to be a part of a generation of young women, all working together to support each other, to come to the realization that we have to find another way, that we've got to find a new way to be yourself, to be authentic, all of these words which I think we all struggle with. I have imposter syndrome every single day. I have it right now, actually. <laughs> Um, but I think it's something that we have to strive to overcome and I feel very lucky to be a part of an organization that for the last 40 years have been given giving tools not only to not only to women but to men as well about how we can work together when I think about community I think that that word really stands for something so so much stronger nowadays not only in business but also in life and it's a great honor to be with you this, after, this evening. I uh, got sent a cartoon the other day which really makes me laugh, which is of a little girl being read a bedtime story by her by her, uh, family members. And she's like, yeah, 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 Dad, skip to the bit where the princess jumps to the top of the corporate ladder. And that bit, and that made me, and that made me laugh because I think in all life, all girls are princesses, and all girls have an opportunity to do something a little bit different. So I stand here as somebody that is working incredibly hard, um, even when those around you say you're not good enough, we can still strive to be together to do something, to do something more. But I stand here as somebody that's lucky enough to be a part of a team in an incredible company at Affinity, but I'm lucky enough to work with Colin, who is uh, supporting me in my journey. So I would say, find those mentors, find that little voice inside of you, remember that you are part of something much bigger than yourself, and together we can really find a way that no other young person can see visible role models and strive for those authentic, strong moments where you can be as sassy and as strong as you like. Thank you very much.